Hey all, Joe here, and here we are to How to Lucario Part 1. Now, of course, this is going to be a basic guide slash first impression slash some tips and tricks, so it's going to be very basic, but there will be a Part 2 and a 3 in the future that will be a lot more in-depth, so subscribe and get ready for those in the future. Also, tell me in the comments who you want next. I'm probably going to be doing Blaze again next, but just tell me who you want. Like the video if you want to see more of these, and let's get this started. So, to start off, I'm going to say that Lucario is a very balanced fighter, similar to Ryu in the Street Fighter series. He has many strengths and not too many weaknesses. In general, he does pretty good at dang everything, and this makes him a very strong character in my eyes. Now to some stuff a bit more particularly, I'm going to start off with this combo game, and his combo game is stinking great. He does a lot of damage, and he can just start these off with simple moves such as YYYY, or down YY into a grab or a counterattack, and a ton of different stuff. Of course, he has a lot more of these, but these are just some of my favorite ones. The combos all start off very fast, and do about average damage or more, which is really great. Now the thing after that that I want to talk about is that he has some really nice approaching in his kit. Now first off, his homing attack is your very quick burst that can be used in the field phase, and of course you can cancel that with your shield or with a jump or something to get close up, and that's really nice. As well, his bone rush is really great to get in, and your jumping X is an amazing tool as well, because they're just pretty safe. The down Y in dual phase is also amazing, as it's a very safe way to space the opponent offensively, and overall you have quite a bit of choice when playing Lucario. Now, another thing that must be mentioned is that many of his attacks have quite big hitboxes and he can space at least okay with them. Bone Rush is really a good example of this, and of course your down Y is probably one of the best examples of this. It's a very safe move and has a very good hitbox, and of course you're just regular X. These protect you from all offensive assaults by the enemies, and it just lets you play pretty offensive while also being pretty safe at the same time, which is really nice from Makari's point of view. Another thing is that his range attacks, almost all of them, are very great. They have large hitboxes and give a decent amount of shield stun if they hit the enemy shield. Now if you hit the enemy straight on, they do decent damage, and overall they're above average I'd say. Now a move in particular that I want to talk about is his up A, and I'd say this is probably one of the best anti airs slash get off me moves in the entire stinking game. It comes out almost instantly, and is a counter type move so it beats out most other aerials. Someone like Machamp may get an air grab on you, but other than that, you're really going to do fine when using your up A, and one of the strongest moves in his kit in my opinion. Finally, I feel his burst mode may be one of the best burst modes in the entire game. It increases your damage output by a huge margin by giving you moves like your XXXXYYY, and of course the better aura sphere and the insane grab of really nice bonuses as well. This makes you very strong and probably the worst part about his burst is his burst attack, and everything else is really great. Now the burst attack is pretty hard to hit, it's not very safe, and others can kind of hit you out of it pretty easily, like grab you or just hit you. It's kind of easy to miss, but other than that, I'd say this is probably one of the best bursts in the game just as far as how good of a character it makes you. The burst attack may not be the best, but everything else that it gives you is amazing. Now to the basic playstyle of Lucario, and for the basic playstyle, I'll say that you have to be a little bit on the defensive side with, you know, aura spheres and your spacing Y moves, but you do of course have the option to go in, and that's a pretty good option as him. In any round, you can play almost any playstyle, and this is what makes him so good to me. Most other Pokemon in this game have to choose, you know, one way of play or another, while you can do pretty much everything at an okay level. Now, I won't say that you're really the best at anything, but you do, in general, above average at everything. Now, to the field phase in particular, I've heard from quite a few people that his field phase really isn't that great, and I can kinda see why. Many of your moves here take quite a while to charge, and to really be useful, and you can't spam them out like you'd really want to in the field phase. Even with that said though, I feel like you do fine enough in this phase. You aren't really worse than a lot of people in this phase, you do okay. You have a lot of long range options in your kit, and they stop close range enemies, which is nice, and of course you have a lot of ways to get inverse Sammers, such as your CADC, which everyone has, and your homing attack cancel just by pressing X, and then getting that running boost, and then cancelling it with shield, that's very nice to get in also. You may have some troubles with projectiles at times, but you have high enough priority with your own projectiles that they can usually smash through the enemy's hits and get a switch to the dual phase. You do okay in the field phase, maybe not the best, but you know, it's fine enough. Now, for the negatives of this field phase, yeah, he does take forever to charge his moves, and this can be bad news. Of course, someone like Mewtwo can just outspam you, and then they can go for their better homing attack than you, and get in, and there really isn't way too much they can do. As well, you aren't the fastest, and your jumping X is somewhat counterable, so you can't spam it to get in. Even with this all said, though, I say you do okay enough in this phase, and you know, that's, that's fine enough. Now for the dual phase, this is the place where I hear most people say he does a lot better at. In this phase, you have pretty much every option you'd really want for a character and for Pokemon in general. You have far range projectiles that can be spammed or charged, you have ways to get in, you have high damaging combos, safe spacing moves, and a great get off me move, that being your up A, you know. You kinda have everything that you'd want in the dual phase, and with the addition of your Mega, you're almost unstoppable. It's very hard to play versus a good Lucario here, and they can just show off why he's so great at everything. But yeah, of course, there are some negatives in this phase and why he's really not the best here either. I'd say that in general he beats most foes in most areas of play, but of course not all areas of play. Some people can just get in better, some camp more, and most people are just better at being a one-trick pony than Lucario. Now this isn't always bad as him, but it can be kind of annoying as you realize you don't really auto-win versus almost any matchup. 
Now for a few tips and tricks of Lucario, the first tip I'd say to you is to use your up A quite often. Now I haven't seen too many Lucarios using this up A attack, but it is very, very good. It beats counters, it beats attacks, and it beats aerials, and it does this very well. It's very quick, hard to punish if you hit it, and in general it's just a very good move. If you haven't been using your up A so far, I'd say give it a try, it's very strong. Next, maybe try out the Cubone slash Diglett mix. Now the reason for this is that it can reset your stalling moves mid combo. As you know in Pokémon, when you combo for a long time, your later on moves will do a lot less damage. Well on certain attacks, Cubone will actually reset the damage you do back to full, and your combos in general will just do a lot more damage overall. It's a really great support to use, especially since it's on such a low timer. Finally, go synergy focused or special for the cheer when you are using Nia. Now these allow you to gain a huge amount of synergy gauge when winning and this allows you to do Gray's Lucario since his burst gauge is so stinking good when it's maxed out. If you use these often, you'll be able to get your synergy almost every single match and for Omega, that's just really insane. As I said earlier, your damage output just goes through the roof, so you know, just give this a try. Finally, I feel like Lucario will be quite strong, but I could never really see him as being the best in the game. He's just too normal at everything to be the best. Still, he is above average about everything, so I feel like he'll be like Ryu in Street Fighter 4 and be quite high placed, but not really the highest. Still, this means he has a lot of potential and a really great pickup as a solo main if you have been looking into him. And there you go, that's all I'm going to say about Lucario. Sorry this video is a little bit shorter, but you know, I was just talking faster and all these other excuses, you know, whatever. Um, I hope you still enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure to press the like button. Of course, there will be a part two and a three that go a lot more in depth, so subscribe for those. Tell me who you want for next week. Probably going to be Plazakin, but you know, tell me who you want after that. Thank you all for watching, though. Hope this guide helped you. If it did, you know, tell me in the comment section below also. And um, I'll see you all next time.